Hello, we're reading the book, The Puppy Place, where every puppy finds a home. This one here is about Scout. We're on chapter five. Before we start, let's talk a little about how to act around dogs. Does anyone know the first rule about petting a dog you haven't met before, Meg asked? Lizzie's hand shot up. Ask the owner first, she said. Some dogs don't like strangers. Good, said Meg, nodding. Also, most dogs don't really like to be hugged by someone they don't know. So if the owner says it's okay, you can start off by letting the dog sniff your hand. If the dog doesn't shy away, you can pat it gently. By now, Casey was pushing her head against Lizzie's hand, begging for a pat. Lizzie and Charles scratched between Casey's ears while Megan began to explain how Casey worked. Dogs have an excellent sense of smell, Meg said. In fact, it's about 10,000 times better than ours. So a dog can smell a person even when they're hidden or lost. If I ask Casey to find someone, she'll start sniffing the air trying to figure out where the person is. Then she'll start to run, following the person's smell. When she finds them, she'll run back to me and bark to let me know. Then she'll lead me to the person. Meg turned to Lizzie. I'm going to keep Casey from watching where you go and hide. Please go behind that tree over there, near the monkey bars, okay? Then Casey gets to play her favorite game, which is called hide-and-seek. She loves to be it. I'll ask her to find you, and all you have to do is stay still until she brings me back to you. Got it, Lizzie said. While Meg distracted Casey, Lizzie ran over to the tree and tucked her leg self behind it, and after a moment she heard Meg say, Find Lizzie. In about two seconds, Casey's nose was at Lizzie's hand again. Lizzie couldn't help but giggling. Good girl, she whispered to Casey. Then Casey was off again, heading back to Meg. She barked exactly to tell Meg she had found her lost person. In another moment, Meg and Casey had appeared at Lizzie's side. Meg gave Casey a dog biscuit and lots of pats while all the kids and teachers applauded. Of course, Meg told the excited crowd, Casey's jobs are usually a lot more complicated. Last month, we searched the wood for seven hours before we found a little boy who was lost. After that, Meg showed some methods she had used to train Casey, starting with a game called Puppy Runaways. She had Charles pat Casey and then take off running towards a swing set. Casey bounded right after him, not letting him out of her sight. When she caught up, Charles gave her a biscuit. That's how I taught Casey, and it was a good thing to follow for somebody, Meg explained. We started with a real person, and after a while, we started to learn how to follow a person's smell, too, the way she did with Lizzie. Meg smiled at Lizzie and Charles. Thanks for your help, she said. Lizzie gave Casey one more pat before she and Charles went headed back to their class groups. I have a great idea, Lizzie whispered to Maria when she was standing next to her friend again. Before Lizzie could say more, Meg turned to Officer Frost. Your turn. Okay, said the policeman. Hi, everybody. He looked down at Thor, who was sitting alertly at his side. Thor, can you wave hello? And Thor picked up his right front paw and waved, and everybody cheered. I wanted to add something to what I'd said to Meg about meeting dogs you didn't know, said Officer Frost. Another thing to remember is that some dogs don't like it if you look right into their eyes. They think you're challenging them to a fight with, with you, since that's the way that dogs challenge each other. He asked Meg to demonstrate it by looking in Thor's eyes. Thor started to growl and bark, and Lizzie suddenly understood why some people might be afraid of German Shepherds, or of any big dog. But the Officer Frost held Thor's leash tightly. As soon as Meg stopped and looked away, Thor stopped barking. Thor is my partner, said Officer Frost. Just like a human partner, he keeps me company, helps me prevent and solve crimes, and protects me if I'm in trouble. Lizzie could just imagine how Thor would act if someone tried to hurt Officer Frost. Holy mackerel. Officer Frost told the story about how Thor had caught a bad guy who was running away after robbing a store. Then he talked some more about how Thor rode around with him in his patrol car all day and what a typical day was like for the two partners. He's my best friend, said Officer Frost, reaching down to pet Thor. And Thor has some very good friends right here in the community, don't you, Thor? A class of high school sponsors him, and they spoil Thor rotten with treats and toys. When Lizzie heard about that, her eyes lit up. Maria smiled, and Lizzie knew her best friend could already tell what she was thinking. Lizzie was getting another great idea. Well, that's the end of Chapter 5. Holy mackerel, that one there went pretty quick, too. Well, we can't wait to see you. Remember, keep on reading. It's good for you. We miss you here. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.